So we must be engaged, right? We must be morally culpable, um, mm. not just as citizens, but also as artists. And I, I believe this very, very deeply. The boys jump off a stone wall in front of the casino into a bed of lavender fat with bees. She lets her children make their own mistakes. There are worse lessons than bee stings. A stocky man is coming down the hill, hallooing. Jean-Paul. His face is wind-battered. If he has eyes, they are so deep she can't see them. His odor shakes her hand before he does. Unwashed clothes, body, salt. He says the house is ready. He's surprised at her French. Not bad. How did this story come about? Uh, so, it, uh, well, I, I hate saying it's autofiction, but it is. <laughs> because, um, I took my two little boys. At the time, they were um, four and six to France by myself for a summer, uh, which was stupid <laughs> every single way. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I really was doing research. I, I've been, I had been working on a book about Guy de Maupassant for um, 12 years, um, which I just threw into a bonfire. And it just, you know, after what happened in November, nothing felt urgent in it. It felt very yeah. uh, ingrown. Basically. It's a really and, powerful and, word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that, I mean, a lot of American fiction has been feeling the last 40 years really ingrown, almost uh, aloof from politics. Mm. I think a lot of what we've been doing, and I, and I damn myself in this more than anyone, is that I think for a while we believe that, that art can be separate from politics, mm. right? And that's a position of extraordinary smugness. We can't ignore the world around us um, and pretend that uh, you know the, the, the things that our country is doing to the rest of the world aren't happening, right? I mean, we're all complicit. Every citizen of a country is complicit in the things that its government is doing. Um, so that means that if someone's on death row and is, mm. dies, um, that's on me. That's my fault. That I am mm. I am complicit in that, right? If someone in the Middle East. Uh, as an innocent person is killed by a drone strike, that's my fault. That's a radical level of responsibility that you're taking on, right? Yes, but, but I, I don't think, I mean, we can't write uh, Plemix, right? Because mm. Plemix are just bad art, basically, in a lot of ways, right? Yeah. Or, it's, it's, you know, or um, well, what art can do is, is do a, a huge number of small, very precise scalpel cuts, mm. um, as opposed to the sledgehammer, right? I mean, there are really beautiful people in the world bringing down the sledgehammer every single day. Uh, thank God for them, right? But that's maybe not the role of the artist. Maybe the role of the artist is to, to put a, a billion tiny cuts into the edifice of tyranny mm -hmm. and, and then blow it down. Getting a sense of what you mean by the political, it's like this challenging the narratives of what people come to see reality with, exactly. for example. Yes, um, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, right. Um, and, but if we, if we have an insistence on the epiphany, right, which we have been leaning on very hard in the past 40 years, then we're, we're not doing justice um, mm. to the rest of the world, I think, in a lot of ways. I think American fiction has been foundering in the epiphany mm. for a very long time. Fantastic. Yay. Okay. Well, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.